So this is a 900, isn't it? Yeah. 910, actually. 910. So moving on, this would have been early early 80s, I think. Um, Sony, very significant in the transition to enabling facility houses to open because until then, as we said earlier, uh, tape decks quad were over £200,000. Suddenly they're 32,000 one inch and they've got more facilities. And, um, and Sony developed a, a much more sophisticated, uh, QWERTY-based, effectively, these keys are all what they call them, soft keys. They've been programmed to do specific things. So now we could control anything up to eight machines, I recall, and run them all at the same time in sync. So that with a vision mixer in the middle, like this is a vision mixer, this is a very small one, built by Grass Valley and in the day we always used to say you never lose your job for buying a Grass Valley because it worked and it worked very reliably and, and sometimes you could program through the keyboard a dissolve of say 30 frames and it would do it automatically, run up all the decks and do the dissolve at precisely the right moment uh, and transfer to the master tape. Um, and, and if you, sometimes you wanted to do it manually because there's something different, I don't know how to describe it, uh, there's something about a human doing things sometimes that's different to a machine. And so sometimes you want, uh, maybe you wanted half mix and things like a half mix were very difficult to program if you could at all. And then on top of that, and I think it's worth saying at the time that in my day in the early 80s, we would, the editor would do everything, including the editing and the audio and the, and the graphics. So we had a machine, which we haven't got here, called an Aston character generator, where we could make all the lower thirds. So my job in that day was to make all of that first thing of the day. Uh, you make the end roller and all the lower thirds, and then you'd put them on as you went. And what you, by then, you, we can see here, we're building an edit list you see that and and then what you would do is go back to the moment where you wanted the graphic redo that edit and this time you'd add the lower third or whatever I always did it as a thing at the end of the day so you concentrated on one thing at a time so you did all your graphics in sort of not one go but a session at the end of the day